And Ken Leon, he's an analyst at CFRA Research, and he joins us now. You've got a buy on it. Ken, this has been a sort of stunning, another stunning fall from grace. We're talking about BlackBerry in the Canadian markets, but Disney has fallen for other reasons. As you take stock of all those reasons, what are some of the crisis points right now? Well, it's great to be here. Happy Friday. And for Disney and Bob Iger, it's a different playbook than what he really succeeded before, which was growth. Now it's a question whether Disney is an opportunity with un really asset value or is it a value trap? We think there's opportunities, but the new playbook is going to be restructuring and restructuring over the next 12 months where we will see the legacy businesses, which is broadcast, cable, pay TV, and perhaps ESPN, be moved to another company, uh, perhaps a tracking stock. And what's left will be the future of Disney, which is the parks and leisure uh, plus Disney Plus for the fast growing video streaming. And yet the stock is under pressure. There seems to be some concern about Bob Iger's ability to be the Bob Iger that investors loved so much before he retired. What do you think about his ability to execute on the vision? Well, I think there's two reasons why the stock is down. One, the near-term catalysts are cloudy. Uh, we're done with the peak season for the Disney parks. Kids are back to school. Second, uh, it's really also related to the announcement from Warner, Warner Brothers Discovery the actor and screenwriter's strikes are delaying the release of major films. So that might hurt Disney uh, for the upcoming uh, period. So when you look at those two things, uh, and you look more at the bigger picture for Disney, with Bob Iger, I think some investors are concerned with the word control. So they can certainly restructure or pair off the legacy businesses, uh, but I don't believe Iger can maintain control and get new partners uh, into businesses that are mature and not growing. The media business, of course, uh, sort of struggling here, and Bob Iger has hinted outright that the legacy part of it could be up for sale. Do you think that could be a meaningful monetization exercise? Uh, you know, others have lamented just a lack of buyers for those kind of assets. Well, it is. So you, you really have the buy and the sell side for Disney on. On the, on the sell side would be getting the valuation or ac actually selling those off or, or it gets spun off to shareholders. The buy side is they have an option put call with uh, Comcast on Hulu, uh, where Disney and Iger have said that they'll buy the minority interests owned by Comcast probably in the first quarter of next year. Uh, that might be nine to $10 billion. They certainly have liquidity, cash, and access to credit lines to do that kind of deal. But again, getting back to getting rid of some of the matured businesses, you can't necessarily get the best deal and still have control. And I think you know those who are looking beyond the short term are a little bit concerned with that. Where do you see the stock trading? What's the fair value? Uh, fair value is going to be on the realization of selling off some of these assets. Uh, you know, the stock traded well up at 175 to 200. Uh, analysts uh, target prices have come down ours has as well to 105 which is our 12-month target price for Disney